What is up YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys are not one of my subscribers already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. If you guys have not seen the channel recently, you know that we got the new Denon AVRs and they are hot. Today, I'm gonna be shooting out, comparing side by side the 6700 and the 3700. I've already done unboxings and detailed breakdowns of both of these units, so make sure to check those videos out. But today, I'm gonna to be discussing the differences. Is it worth double the money, essentially, to go up to the 6700? Because I'm sure that's what everybody's wondering. Do I need 13.2 channel processing or just 11.2 with a smaller nine channel amp? We're gonna get into that right after the intro. Okay guys, let's go ahead and start with the small guy, the 3700. This is an incredible unit. MSRP on this is 1199, so basically 1200 bucks. Um, it is a great value for a couple different reasons. If you're needing an 11 channel processor and you're gonna be using separates, boom, here you go. They're, they're giving it to you at a very reasonable price point. And it's not dinky, I mean, we're pushing 105 watts a channel. So, um, and that's on nine channels. So you could still utilize this in a theater for like a full 7.2.2 or 5.2.4 Atmos system. And then in the future, you're not screwed. You can upgrade with a two channel amp and make that a 7.2.4 or uh, a 5.2.6 or 7.2.4. Lots of options here, guys. Um, okay, let's go over and check out the 6700. Okay, now we have the 6700. The 6700 is definitely gonna be the best choice for guys that don't want to have regrets down the road. This is at 2,500 bucks, so a little over double the cost of the 3700, but this has 13.2 channel processing and 11.2 channel processing and, and, and amplification. So you can start your system off right with a 724, um, no problem very very easy ready to go built in and then you get a, another two channel amp similar to that situation and you can expand that to like a 7.2.6 there's also other reasons you may utilize both of these units and i want to talk on that a little bit because we don't just do theaters i mean we're a custom installation company and we do projects every day where people have a full 5.1.2 say in a living room, or even I have guys that put a 5.1 in their master bedroom. And then you could power up your master bathroom, your closet, you can do um, your patio, dining room, study. I mean, the list goes on. And the reason that that's so valuable is like, say for example, one of my other really top selling distributed audio systems, Sonos. Sonos is great, but they don't manufacture a home theater receiver. Whereas Den and Heos is a competitor to Sonos and it comes built in with all of these different zones where you can independently stream music, not only for the surround sound zone, but also for independent zones throughout the house. So that can really add up to a lot of value. And this has AirPlay 2 built in, all of the different apps for Spotify and Pandora and all that goodness. So a lot of, lot of value built into this product. Okay, let's talk about both. All right, guys, this is an up close shot of both of the units. We have the 37 and the 67 side by side. So let me see if I can get a little better view for you guys. Okay, so this is the up close and personal view of the 6700 and the 3700. You can see uh, the 6700 does have a on-screen display that has individual controls so you can go into advanced options right here with the hard button press whereas you would need to use the remote to access those features on the 3700. Again as a custom installer, custom installation company owner, I do find a lot of value in that. This also has more HDMI ports on it so if you're gonna have a ton of devices then the 6700 may have some value there just on the HDMI port option, having that additional one there on the front. Let's go ahead and spin them around to the back side. So this is the back of the units, and 
As you can see, the 3700 has less speaker terminals than the 6700. This is physically what I was talking about earlier whenever I was talking about amplification versus processing. So this is 13.2, this is 11.2, but that's processing, meaning it can uh, handle the decoding for that surround sound configuration. With that said, you only have a nine channel amp over here and you have 11 channel amp over here. So if somebody's looking to do a theater that's a 7.2.4 and they're running a, a decent set of speakers, more than likely I'm gonna push you into the 6700 at least just because you need that additional power. 140 watts a channel versus 105 watts a channel is pretty substantial. And you get the upgrade path. You have the option on the 6700 to expand into a 13 channel system, like a 7.2.6 as an example, which is becoming the new standard now uh, because last year, uh, Denon had the 8500, which was like, whoa, you can get 13.2 channel processing through this unit, which was incredible for consumer technology. Like obviously we have really high end products like Storm Audio who does <laughs> insane, you know, 36 channel processing, but it's expensive. These are very affordable for the amount of value that they provide. So all in all, uh, really that's what the difference between the two are uh, from a substantial spec difference. Uh, if you look at the back of the units in detail, you got the same number of HDMI ports on the back, except for the 6700 has one more on the front. You have component inputs and you have component outputs, 1080p uh, inputs for video as well, or sorry, uh, 480p, and then you got your optical inputs, uh, digital audio, you got control is the same, looks like on both. Yeah, across the board there. You do have a phono here. Oh, they have it. Looks like they have it over here as well. Yeah, so really it comes down to, do you need the additional processing and amplification? The big perk to both of these units is the new 8K ports. So no prior generation receivers had this built in. So if you look here on the back of the unit, you have one HDMI 8K port out, and then you have one in. The rest, just to be clear, are DHCP 2.3 4K ports. So that's the same on both, if you look over here. I don't want people to get confused and think that all the ports are 8K. This is like whenever 4K first came out, HDMI 1.4, and they would have like, you know, one or two 4K ports, but not all of them would be 4K. They'd have the rest 1080. It's because this is leading edge technology, guys. Well, I hope this makes it easier for you guys to make an educated buying decision. Again, call in and ask your questions. Our sales guys are happy to answer all of your questions and maximize the potential of your system and your budget. All right, guys, well, that concludes my review and comparison of the Denon 3700 and the 6700. Two different units for two completely different customers and different situations. If you guys are still unclear, reach out. We're here for you. We do guarantee the lowest price on these products with nationwide free shipping. And that low price guarantee, can't beat it. Really appreciate y'all's support. If you like this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below for more. Till next time, this is Zach, Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.